I asked Professor Slater what teachers need to know about reading. She emphasized the connection between reading, writing, and speaking, the importance of students' background knowledge, and also some things to think about in selecting texts. Let's listen. What's the most important thing for teachers to understand about reading? I think a critical step in helping students develop literacy skills is talking. Just as children learn about their worlds by touching and talking long before they begin reading, students need to talk about what they will be reading about. This is where meanings are constructed and ways of talking about content or ideas happen. Most contemporary English textbooks incorporate this idea by starting a unit or chapter with a few questions that aim to get students thinking and perhaps talking about what they already know about the topic they will soon read about. Without triggering background knowledge and introducing some of the vocabulary and ensuring that it becomes familiar to the students, reading becomes difficult or simply a process of decoding without meaning. It's critical to help students connect their current understanding to the written text. In the initial stages, students can be offered simplified text. We certainly do that with young native speakers who lack the content knowledge or experience to understand an authentic text. I mean, young children in kindergarten will not be reading a treatise on nuclear science. But if students are familiar with the topic and have the knowledge necessary, offering an authentic text can be very useful and motivating because as these students work to hone their literacy skills, they recognize that the written text is representing their world knowledge. In other words, they begin to realize that what they are decoding has meaning and interest for them. And this brings me to another key concept in teaching literacy. Encourage students to read whatever is interesting to them and to write something about what they read. The practice of journaling or writing your own thoughts about what you read is a great way to practice literacy skills. Professor Slater emphasized that there is an important connection between reading, writing, and speaking. Let's take a look at how that connection works. When a student reads something, they're thinking about it, they're processing it, and it actually helps them to understand and remember it if they talk about it with somebody. For example, our student here reading a book might enter a discussion where she could talk about what she just read. She might say, I just read about that, but I disagree with what the author said. By thinking about it and having an opinion about what was read, the student develops a better understanding of the reading. In addition, people often write about what they read, and in fact, the reading that they do helps them to formulate their own thoughts in their own language when they write. Professor Slater also emphasized that teachers can help build their students' literacy skills by building knowledge and interest through talking. So, for example, students working together might discuss the topic of a reading and ask each other about their interests related to the topic. This way, students' interest becomes activated about the topic of the reading before they even start to read, and this helps with comprehension. Professor Slater also indicated that teachers should help to trigger background knowledge and to introduce vocabulary before students read. That helps students to build a schema or an understanding of the topic that helps them to comprehend the text. Understanding the vocabulary is also useful, of course, because students can better capture the meaning of what's being said if they know the words. For example, students that are about to read The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn might be introduced to things like the Mississippi River, where the story took place, the idea of the boat, and the camping on the river that is part of the story. Students might learn the vocabulary for these aspects of the story so that they can think about it before they read. This helps comprehension.